Hi, I'm Tim Smith, the Chief Leaf at the Tea Smith in Omaha, Nebraska. Welcome to the world of teas. Today we're going to have an introduction to rooibos. For generations, the people of South Africa have been enjoying beverages made from the rooibos plant. For consumers that want a beverage that is full of flavor, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, but is free of caffeine, rooibos is just the thing. The only problem is how to pronounce it when you see it written. Rooibos, or redbush tea, is not a tea, but it's an herb that comes from the Aspalanthus linaris plant. The only place that this bush is currently cultivated is in the Cedarburg area of South Africa. Credit for its introduction to those of us outside of that region is given to Benjamin Ginsburg around 1904. During World War I, it became popular as tea became hard to acquire. Once the war ended and trade returned back to normal, rooibos was pretty much forgotten about. Fast forward to the 1990s. After South Africa's policy of segregation known as apartheid was ended, trade resumed with the U.S. and Western country, and rooibos was rediscovered. In the last several years, this has become an increasingly popular drink, both hot and iced. Unlike tea, the entire bush is harvested and cut for tea. Like tea, Rooibos can be enjoyed green, unoxidized, or in its more well-known version, oxidized form, or commonly called red tea, but it is not tea. The oxidized rooibos has a full body and slightly nutty hint. The aroma of the dry leaves can be compared to pipe tobacco. It's smooth and it does not become astringent, even when infused for 10 minutes or more. Green rooibos is lighter in flavor and has that floral, vegetal hint that one sees in green teas. Rooibos takes flavorings well, so there's a broad range of tastes that you can experience from apple to vanilla and everything in between. Rooibos also makes a good base for chai for those wanting something different or caffeine free. So in summary, rooibos or redbush tea is not tea, but an herb that comes only from South Africa. It is naturally caffeine free, it contains antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, and like a good friend, it is a bit nutty and does not get bitter even when neglected. Remember, it's a big world. Drink it up.